All right. Hey, everybody, let's get started on this matchbox order, filling a matchbox order. Now, the first model in the uh, newer models, I'm going to put the older models at the end of the video. This is going to be the 1E Mercedes Lorry, very popular model because of the removable top. And of course, you have the option of adding a trailer to that. And the trailer looks like this little fella right here. And then I've got a nice, beautiful set of these. I think this one might have had a little scratch on it. So I'm going to reach back into my uh, supply here and grab another one and see what we've got here. Look at that. Let's see, you got any scratches on that one? Nope, this one is nice. So we're going to go ahead and set this a set up here. See if we can get this to turn around. These are always a little stiff. These two pieces go together real nicely like that. Makes it a real popular set. Now, I do have the e-box in mint condition there and then for the set i have the f box set right there so we'll have the we have two trucks let's see this one yeah we got this truck in the e-box and then the set in the f box look at that it's real nice let's just move the camera up slightly and look at that set number one how nice is that Next model up is the 3B, the Bedford Tipper. This one with the red bed, mint condition, of course, with a beautiful box. Look at that. Both sides very nice. There she is, the 3B red. This model also comes in maroon, and this particular one is the red. Next up, the number 4, 4 D2 1967 steak truck. Look at that. This one's a real popular model. You can put your cattle in the back of that guy. It's got the nice little mud flaps on the back. Beautiful condition, of course, with the mint box. Look at that. Everybody loves these mint boxes. The E box. Now, for those of you who aren't aware of it, there is the E box and then the F box with the uh, straight line matchbox versus the arch matchbox. That's the E and the F box, F being the last one in the series for the regular wheels models. Here's the quarry truck, the 6C. Now this is one of my favorite models ever because it's the first model that my dad bought for me. This one has the D box with the arch and then the series at the end. Again, that's different than the E and the F. There's the E and the F. I guess you can't see that right there. Moving these over. D, E, and F boxes in the series of matchbox before that are much older but anyway this is the number six she's beautiful got a couple of nicks on the front there but unplayed with beautiful model i love these it's my favorite as i said my dad first bought me this my very first matchbox in 1964 just like that one Next one up is the number six, the Ford pickup truck. This is a very popular model. It comes in two uh, different designs, one with the white bumper, white bumper up front, and uh, one with the chrome bumper up front. And let's see, what else would be chrome? I think it's just the bumper that's chrome. It's just a piece that inserts there. This one with the steering where you push down and they slightly steers from one side to the other. It's really cool. Sometimes this piece gets messed up, but you can always check in here. There's two little pins and the pins need to be on front of the axle for it to work properly. It's got the removable top on the back there. And then this model will also carry it on into the transitional super fast series. And in that particular model has a lot of different colors on the base. But anyway, this is the regular wheel. In the F box, nice looking, very popular model, very easy. Everyone likes this Ford pickup truck. It's a beautiful model. Another very popular model in the Matchbox early series is the number seven, the refuse truck. Here's two of them, one in the E box and one in the F box. Look at those guys. They're so much fun to play with when you're a kid because this goes up like that. Now, one of the things about the uh, number seven that I find, there's always some sort of minor flaw on a number seven because of this huge chunk of plastic they made this out of. This one's got a little nick on it here, but these are all mint and original box. And here's another one here. This one, this one has a little paint here. Let me go look and see what else I have in a number seven. 
All right, going back to my stock, I've got, look at that, another one of those guys there, and another one of these guys here, both in beautiful mint condition, uh, unplayed with from a lot that I bought at a Pennsylvania auction a few about five years ago, where that fellow had hoarded up and gathered up dozens of each model. Very, very cool. If you want to talk about a complicated and difficult model to collect, the number eight matchbox, it is impossible to get an absolutely drop dead perfect one of these, even in these uh, sets that they come in. This one is the number eight matchbox Mustang. Let's take this sticker off the front here. Sometimes I put, I'll put a little post it on the box here or here to indicate which one I've got. This is the number eight in the white. This one is drop dead gorgeous. It's got these steering wheels like that. That's real fun with a red interior, just a little box scuff, but absolutely drop dead beautiful on this number eight matchbox Mustang. And the Mustang is actually one of the first cars that that Mattel took and then added red line wheels to to see what kind of product they might be able to come up with to make the hot wheels. And uh, there is a fellow out there that owns that original prototype of the Mustang from the Matchbox series with Hot Wheels wheels in it. And that's a very cool story. Talk about fun. The number nine boat and trailer. You get the boat. Beautiful. Now, one thing about the boats is they tended to spill glue when they were putting them together. So typically they do have a little bit of yellow there. I'll check and see if I have a different one. Here's the trailer, fantastic. You can hook that onto your car. Perhaps, uh, let's see, do I have a car here with it? Yes, the Ford Cortina has the trailer hitch. Just put that on there like that, and away you go. If you're a little kid, I mean, how much more fun than a boat and trailer? You gotta click that in like that. You put the boat on and you're ready to go to the beach. Boat and trailer. All right, so I pulled out two more boat and trailers for my mint and box stock. Look at that. Yellow glue. Yellow glue. Let's see. We got one more in here. Let's see what we have. Yep. Yellow glue on the boat and trailer. Let's see which one of these is better. This one? This one. Hmm. I'm going to say this one. Go with that. How about the trailer? I noticed a little nick on there. And a little nick on that trailer. Let's go with this one. There we go. Wait a minute. Little chippies, little chippies, got a third one. That's the thing about these mint in box matchbox. They all have little flaws, but let's try to go with the best we can find right now, and that would be that set, boat and trailer. Next model up is the popular pipe truck. The pipe truck featuring the load of pipes. Let's see, these are all original and still on the tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pipes comes with each, both identical. This one has the original rubber band. I think I put that rubber band on that one. This is actually the original rubber band from 1968. So, boy, look at that. That thing is old. All right, those are beautiful. One in the E box, one in the F box. It's very, very nice. This is a very popular model, the Land Rover in the blue. It also comes in the green. The green is a lot more difficult to find than the blue, but they're both beautiful. Look at that. That's with the F box in beautiful condition. Number 12, the Safari Land Rover. Here is the 14, the ESO. If you notice, this box is a little rough, so why don't we go ahead and, and upgrade you to that box? And I think the car, let's take a look close. Let's go ahead and upgrade that to this one here. And that is the number 14 ESO Griffo. Very, very popular, very popular model because it's so cool. It's almost like a super fast. It has the disc wheels. Let's see, what else has the disc wheels? The Ferrari number 75 has the disc wheels. Can't think of anything else right off that has the disc wheels. But there it is, the ESO Griffo number 14, a nice upgrade for you on the number 14 D1 1968 ESO Grifo. Here's a little fella, that little refuse truck, or garbage truck as we call it in the USA, but refuse in Britain. Here it is, a beautiful box. This is the D box, and it's a small short box. I like the way it has the two pictures on it. These are really, really a cool model. 
difficult to get a really minty one like this. This one has the stickers rather than the decals. The decals are also available if you prefer. This is the sticker model with the hole in it. The one without the hole is the rare model. Don't really ever see that myself. Got the hole in the back there. I'm not sure. Do they hold, throw the garbage in the hole? I don't think so. I don't, I'm not sure how that exactly worked, but very cool in the D box. Beautiful set. 16 D1, the case bulldozer or case tractor as it's called. Removable top on there. Very neat and easy to lose. These get bent a lot. This one is in beautiful shape because it's mint in the box, never been used. Really difficult to find a perfect one of these as well. I've got maybe a dozen of these at one time and only one or two had no chips whatsoever, even from the factory. This one still has the original treads in beautiful shape. Look at that. That is so nice. Now you can get replacement treads uh, from a fellow on eBay, but uh, this has got original treads, original F box, and quite fabulous looking. Number 20, the taxi, the Chevy Impala taxi with the little man inside. Everyone as a kid loved this car with the little man inside. So fabulous. Very, very popular. Hard to keep this guy in stock, especially with the mint box. Look at that beautiful thing. The number 20 taxi, this one with the sticker on front. I believe it's also available in decal. There's a couple of color shades on this model available as well, including a red interior model, which is a little hard to get. Number 24 is the Rolls Royce, the beautiful red Rolls Royce. This one with the bonnet that opens, or hood. Look at that. What is, wait a minute. Did they, no, they don't call that the bonnet. They call the front the bonnet. They call the back the boot. Here we call it the trunk and the hood, but there they call it the boot. So you could have a boot sale where you open up your trunk and uh, sell things out of it. The red, really, really nice. Look how beautiful this red is. Now I am noticing that this one has a couple of dings on it. So let's go and look for an upgrade. And there is a little scratch on the box there. So let's check for another one. Hey, and what do you know? I just realized this is another model with the disc wheels. Here we go with the upgrade on there. Nice deep red. No issues whatsoever. You can see there's a slight different uh, color, color uh, hint or hue there. But as always, they do get a little bit of rubs from the box. This one is very, very minor. All brand new, of course, with the disc wheels. Beautiful model. Look at that little shinier on the front. Very, very nice. Let's check the window glass for any cracks or breaks. Sometimes the hoods are malformed. And that looks beautiful. So we're going to put that in the F box. The beautiful F box. Does it come in an E box as well? I'm not sure about that, but this is a beautiful F box. Next model up, the 25 Ford Cortina in the F box. Look at this little fella. This one's got the opening doors. Opening doors. Let's see, make sure they open before we send this across the world. Look at that, mm, flying car. No, not quite a flying car, but beautiful opening doors. Isn't that cool? This one does have a little bit of corrosion on the base. Let's go check for other ones. Now, this model I got, I think I got a dozen of these years ago and almost all of them were sticky. A little tacky on the paint. I don't know what happens to it, but there's certain models in this year that the paint turns tacky. Let's go look for another one of those. All right, turns out this is my best model. All my other Ford Cortinas have tacky paint. This one has beautiful, solid, no problem paint. Next one up is the ever popular 26 cement lorry. Look at that fella, beautiful orange paint. This is this model is reminiscent of the earlier Matchbox, not so much like the later 60s models where they got larger and had more features. This barrel doesn't actually turn or do anything. But it's really neat looking. It's kind of a like a middle model between the tiny original ones, the medium sized early 60s, and then the later larger size in the D box right there. Beautiful model. Here's the model 26, model 26, the GMC tipper truck in the two boxes, the D and the E. No, nope, the E and the F. Gotta get that straight right there. And then this has got the tipper on the back. With that little guy action, real, real neat model. The only thing that would make this cooler is if this flipped forward, but there's a couple of models. Or maybe it's just the one, the 25, which we're coming up on. Did I miss the 25 on the list? Let's take a look. 25. 
Good thing I remembered I skipped over the 25. Now, the 25 is actually very hard to get. I have trouble getting this model. It's so neat with the uh, flip over front. Here it is, the number 25. It's hard to get them without this being all messed up because it is just fun to play with this model. And there we go with the flip over. And then the seats come up also to reveal the motor. This is definitely one of the coolest models and every kid wanted this one, but man, was it hard to get. That's the number 25 and that's the BP tanker. There are actually two BP tankers in the Matchbox line. The later one, the number 32, looks like this and it doesn't have the fun action on the front. So this one is definitely cooler and earlier See, there's decals on that one, stickers on this one. But yeah, this is one's totally cool. Look at that. That's a great action on that model. Here's the 28 Mack dump truck mint in box. Look at that guy. This one also is very hard to find in mint condition because for some reason they just come with chips, a lot of chips, a little rubs. I don't know what the deal is. This, of course, has the removable tires. Removable tires are always loose because the hubs have shrank over time so you have to just set them down you can't drive them around anymore you got to just set them down and, and just admire the way they look they're so cool mac dump truck with the raising bed on the back there very very cool they get a picture on the side of the action of the bed yeah it's very cool lesney products mac dump truck Here's the number 29, a very popular model, the 29 fire engine or fire pumper truck as it's known. This one with the Denver decals on the side. It's a little more difficult to get with the Denver decals on the side. Most of them are just plain on the side. This is a very popular model to get and finding a mint box is really hard, especially on this F box, which is extremely rare. This one's got a little bit of dents in it can be ironed out slightly. It's got the price sticker on there. Now, if you ever want to remove a, a price sticker, the best method is to use a lighter fluid. And lighter fluid, you will have to, when I've taken stickers off, I've had to apply the lighter fluid, you know, sometimes up to eight, nine, 10 times. And then eventually it does become completely loose, but you don't want to pull the sticker off until it is completely loose. So there is the number 29 fire pumper truck. Beautiful. Another fantastic beauty is the number 30 eight-wheel crane. Of course, I say fantastic beauty. Every matchbox is fantastic. Got the orange boom, the green. This one in uh, the super fast transitional is extremely hard to get. You don't see that. I think it's a gold with a red boom. It's quite beautiful. This one is the number 30 from this series. Now, they usually always have a little ding on the top box where this thing sticks out. So that's just very common. It's got a beautiful colored box in this in the D series box. E series, excuse me. Keep getting those mixed up. That is the E series box. Beautiful set right there. All right, let's get this thing going a little faster here at this point. So I'll check our lighting. How's our lighting? Looks pretty good. Here we've got the 32, the BP tanker in box. And this one is a super popular and hard to get model. This one is extremely mint. That's the 32 Jaguar, so beautiful. Everybody dreams of having a real Jaguar. Look at this box, so fresh. Got the mint thing on the back there. Beautiful box. And then the 31, the, the Lincoln Continental, what am I saying? Lincoln Continental, yes, Lincoln Continental. That is so cool with the opening boot right there. And the light green, I do not have any of the blues. Have trouble getting that blue model. I've got the light green right there. Beautiful. Here we have the Opal Diplomat number 36. One in the E box, one in the F box. Look at that. We've got the rare gray plastic engine in there. And then we've got the chrome engine on this one. Look at that. You want a closer look? Look at that. That is so cool. That Opal Diplomat, of course, you can tow your boat and trailer with that. This is a beautiful model. Look at that. Look at the color. Mm, fantastic. Lime. Wow, these things are made so nice. That is a beautiful model. And that gray, and I've only had one of those ever. It's really fantastic. That is a neat 36 Opal Diplomat. Here's a great looking farm set. The 37 cattle truck with the cattle still on the sp sprue. I think they call that sprue. I said tree earlier. 
think they call it a sprue. Anyway, this is a beautiful mint model. All these are beautiful and mint. There's the tractor, number 39 Ford tractor, and the number 40 hay trailer with the original little plastic things that go on each end. Of course, you pull the tongue out from the bottom there. This one has the original rubber band on it. So, And these are all in the F box, all in mint condition. Look at those beautiful, beautiful pieces. Here's three more beauties. The 42, the Iron Fairy Crane. The Iron Fairy Crane. This is so cool. Look at that. Beautiful colors. The red, the yellow. And this one, look at that. Red and yellow, too. On the 43 tractor shovel the tractor shovel this one with the fun red front and then the 44 matchbox uh looks like it has what do they got they're advertising on the front of the box i love these circle uh box models this one's got the boot that opens and then apparently it has suspension on it so it can take those bumps and turns but look at how beautiful that champagne color is it's fantastic sometimes i start to think that matchbox are common because almost every day someone sends me uh matchbox uh loose ones in in trays or in, in a bag on a table and they go hey do you want to buy these matchbox but they never ever include the boxes boxes i really only get in collections like maybe once a year they are so scarce compared to everything else i have done my best to get as many boxes as i possibly can one thing was an, there was an auction in pennsylvania about five six years ago and i spent about $40,000 at that auction buying up Matchbox cars so that I always have a good stock. I still got quite a few left, uh, but they are running out and some of the better models just running out or almost gone or out. Just love these things. They're so fantastic. Next three models, the 44 refrigerator truck. If there is a model that's probably the least popular of the 75 models of this year, unfortunately it's the sad little refrigerator truck. She's so pretty. But I don't know, for some reason, people just don't like her. I tell you what, most of the times when you see this guy, she is all beat up. And that, that would that's usually why people don't remember it as fondly, because they beat the heck out of it. But look at this one. This one is beautiful. Look at that. Turquoise on the back, red on the front. So pretty with the box. Would have been nice if they would have put the red cab on the front there. But they put the green for some reason. And that's on the E-Box, E-Box, E-Box. Here we have the Ford Corsair with the boat and top still on its little guy the sprue and here number 46 the mercedes with the opening doors look at that let's make sure these guys open 46 mercedes this one also comes in green this one is the blue with the opening doors look at that very nice and that is some fabulous fabulous here's the number 47 the daf tipper daf tipper one with the white or the light gray top, one with the dark gray top. And even the yellow is slightly darker on this model. Looks like everything else is about the same. Orange yellow or orange yellow. What are you, yellow? I don't know. And then the two boxes, this one the E, this one the F. Very cool. Of course, you could take that off. I'm not sure what you'd do with that. It has this tread on there. It almost looks like it's a ramp. And I'm pretty sure it's not that, but look how cool that is. Comes in the two colors. Pretty cool. Here we got the number 48, the Dodge Dumper Truck. Beautiful with that chrome front, chrome on the bottom. Red, beautiful red. And then we've got the 49, the Mercedes Unimog. Two of those guys, look at that. Slightly different shades, I think. Maybe not. Beautiful blue with the one with the E box, one with the F box. Fantastic. Look at that. Those are nice. Here's the number 53 Ford Zodiac. That one has the hood that opens. Chrome engine underneath and a spare tire. Really nice. 53 to 59. Well, the 59, probably the most popular. This one in the police cruiser, probably the most popular of all the early Matchbox. Beautiful red. This one with the sticker on it as opposed to the decal. And then 58, the girder truck with the original rubber band and all the girders still joined together, like from the factory. Beautiful cream color, look at that, so nice. Really like that one. And all the tires, of course you always have to check the tires on a Matchbox because a lot of the Matchbox tires will come and they will be damaged. Not a lot, but you know, one out of 50 I would say, one out of 25 will have like little cracks in them. 
our little nubs. So always have to check everything about a Matchbox car. Here we've got the number 57 Cat Fire Brigade in the e-box. Very nice. The Exploration Elvis Stalwart. This is what the most notorious for the falling off wheels. Actually, this one I got to locate the other three wheels because they always fall off and they just go like that. And you've got the 62, the Cougar with the opening doors, beautiful model. And the number 60, the Sight Hut with the original rubber band, brand new mint in the box, 50 years old. Can you believe it? That is so crazy. Beautiful. And all those models. That one, of course, will have all its tires with it. This one is the decal model. It also comes in a sticker model. And it is very difficult to get one of these that is in this nice shape. They always, this white paint is very notorious for being bad. And this one is in beautiful condition. All right, here is the 63, the Fire Crash Tender. This one with all the parts still on the sprue ready to go and all in good shape here with the 63 this is the dodge crane beautiful very beautiful and the 64 mg the mg this is a very popular one again because it has the little man inside and also a little dog looking out the back window so cute look at that 64 f box f box and the e box on those three all right the next three the 65 combine uh, harvester, combine harvester. This one's a neat model. I really like it. The box is super cool on that one. You don't see this box very much in the F. That's I think that's a rare one. Here we got the Greyhound bus, one of my personal favorites. Greyhound bus. This is the uh, amber window version. Of course, the clear window version is much harder to get. And then over here we got the Mercedes bus, number sixty-eight. Got one in the E box, one in the F box. Both models there. Very very nice on the Mercedes bus. All right, the next three up, we've got the Matchbox Grit Spreader. The Grit Spreader, this is a cool one. Look at that. This one's got a nice bright red color, yellow. Got the grit puller on the back. This one is the black versus the gray, which is more common. This one has got the black on it. The Jeep, everyone loves this Jeep. This one's actually very cool, so real looking. And, of course, back in the 60s, that was a very familiar sight to see, the Jeep. And then over here, the 73 mercury wagon mercury wagon the commuter with the dogs in the back very cool i don't know if you've ever seen it but there's a fellow on youtube that does the matchbox track you know the matchbox track that drags the cars around with the spring action and he uh does some really cool things with matchbox cars on those tracks so if you haven't had a chance or if you do get a chance check him out on youtube just look up matchbox race track and you will find him he's done some really spectacular work All right, here's the last three in the regular wheel models, the late 60s models. We'll go over the older models here in a minute. Got the 74 bus in the tan. Hmm, see a big ding on that one. 74 bus in the tan, near mint, near mint. And the green there. Beautiful on that one, mint condition. And then over here, I've got the 75, which I've upgraded to a nice deep rich green model with the wire wheels. I had this one in a collection I bought recently. Very, very nice. That's a beautiful model. Now that you can find this uh, Ferrari Berlinetta in this dark green. Also, it's kind of a lighter green it comes into. It's not quite as good looking as this model. This one's really good looking. All right, I've gone back into my stock and found this mint model for you. Right there, look at that. Isn't that a beauty? tan bus put that right in there make that nice pair the bus also comes in a red if you need a red let me know i also have a red in stock hi right, we're getting down to the end of the matchbox we had a couple that we'd missed in the early or in the late 60s series i did find a number 31 the fabulous blue lincoln continental that's a tough one right there this one with the box with the little white circle on it, the harder box. The blue with an opening boot, gorgeous color, nice chrome, very bright in the front. That, that, that one is a beauty right there. 31 Lincoln Continental. 
And another one that I came up with, the 52, I had that in another place there. That's the 52 BRM racer with the little driver. Nice box on that, of course. Look at that. Like, like brand new, 50 years old. The number 52 BRM racer. All right, and then we have the older models, the road rollers, the road rollers, the 1A, 1B, 1C, something like that. All of the road rollers now. If you see this little plastic box, this is something that I usually ship Matchbox in. I, If you like them, I will send some along. Otherwise, I'm going to pack the boxes up in a box nice and tight. There's the larger one there. Beautiful. And the number 1D. What's it? What's the ABC? Something like that. Anyway, the uh, all of these models came from a collection I bought last year, which is really a once-in-a-lifetime collection of Every, almost every early model with the mint box. Look at those fabulous, these Mocos Lesney series. Fairly nice, really nice models. We'll move those back. And some of the other early series we have coming to you would be the, with the two dumpers. A couple of those, the Moco Lesney small box and the big box. It's got the little black number, it's got the white number. There's some variety there. With a couple of dump trucks. There, not the greatest shape, but very, very nice. What the heck? And then a couple of uh, of the boxes for the cement. There they are, some of the oldest models right there. And uh, then the last one in there, the number six uh, Euclid right there. Very nice. I think that is every model. I'm pretty sure that's everything. I've cleared the desk of all the models. I've got the list I've gone over multiple times, and I will be getting with you on that. But for now, that is the end of the pulling of the Matchbox collection, the largest Matchbox collection ever at one time. Very fantastic. Thank you so much. I know you will enjoy those. Here's an idea that my checklist I've been working on, working from. It's pretty comprehensive and some upgrades in there and uh, should not be one single disappointment. That's the way I like it here. All right. Thank you so much. And everyone who is watching, thank you for watching and have a great day. This is David Williamson or Dave Williamson, the toy car collector at www.toycarcollector.com.